I was cleaning my office the other day and I came across this gem. It's a winter circle picture from Laurel Raceway. It's dated July 1st, 1978. Okay, that's going back over 30 years ago. Now, the gentleman holding the horse looks really familiar to me, and I know that I've seen him in the Harrington Raceway paddock before. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take this picture in and look around for this dude. All right, you wanna go with me? Come on. I think I spotted him. Um. Do you recognize this guy in this picture? Which one? The guy holding the horse. Afraid so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this guy over here, look at this. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, the team is back together at Harrington Raceway hanging out. Now, do you remember this horse at all? Yes, I do. What can you tell me about him? He was fast. He would hurt you. <laughs> Ask him. He kicked him. Oh, this horse kicked you, Timmy? Yeah, he kicked, my, kicked me out of the bike one night at Free State in post -break. Yeah, He was very fast, but very crazy, but that's why those two got along great. <laughs> um, I also want to know about these clothes. Do you still have these clothes? I doubt it. Can't get in them. <laughs> what about the hat? Now, that is some kind of dude hat right now. I don't think we got it either. Oh, bummer, because I was going to borrow it. <laughs> I don't think you want that at. Um, well, we're going to fast forward okay. just a couple years. Ash LaRue, tell me about her. Ash, I bought her at uh, Delaware, Ohio as a weanling for $1,500. And brought her here and broke her and got her racing. And uh, I had a qualifier one day, and she wins in 55, and she went right up the ladder. As they race around the final turn, Ash LaRue keeps going. It's a length and a half. Outside, Angel with an attitude. Honeybee Skip Along has the rail. Such a bad girl needs room. They come off the turn, and Ash LaRue has a three-length lead in mid-stretch. It's Ash LaRue on top. Wins it easily. 153-1. and one. You know, Timmy Beaver just stole my picture from me again. He's really having a good time with that picture, yeah, Jeff. He likes that, he likes that picture. <laughs> Tony's Wampum started here as a three claimer. Nick Callahan drove in the first start, and in 10 starts, he went from a three claimer to winner's over. He was a great horse back in the day, in 1978. How about the time there? That's showing your age, right? Two, two minutes and one fifth. Yeah. What? I'm just saying. Yeah, and hey, look at his weight here. Yeah, and, look and, yeah and look at you. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, winner's over free state going for 4,000. Yeah, he was a great horse. Who did you work for first? Timmy Beaver. Okay. Now, who did you learn from? You might have worked for him first, but who did you learn the business from? Uh, it was really Timmy. I stayed there. I uh, was there five years. And he got low on horses, and I went on my own. And been on my own ever since. Well, good luck with Ash LaRue. I love watching her race. She is fierce. <laughs> Well, she's been good to me. All right. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. All right, thank you. Let's check out one of Jeff Clark's horses in Victory Lane. In this event, featuring eight pacing fillies and mares. Keep a lookout on number eight, cruising for a living, who also had the tough post position last time out, but she's taking a step down in class in here. They're off, there goes out of your Hanover. Toward the inside, real passing lady, Honeybee Skip Along gets in there third, racing up on the outside, cruising for a living. And then it's another two lengths back, racing in the fifth spot, that's Pacific Philly. Then it's such a bad girl, Magical Fortune, and far back after the break, before the start, Happy Hour Hottie. They go to the quarter and cruising for a living on the outside up to get the lead. Out of your Hanover, back to second, opening quarter, fast 27. Into the far turn, and cruising for a living has the lead. Back to second went out of here, Hanover. Then comes another length and a half or so. Racing in third is real passing lady in front of Honeybee Skip along. And here comes out of here, Hanover. Back up on the outside to retake the lead. Cruising for a living is back to second. Then it's real passing lady. Another two and a half lengths. Honeybee Skip along is fourth. Pacific Philly next on the outside. Such a bad girl. Followed by Madge's Little Fortune. 55 and 1. Into the clubhouse turn and out of your Hanover, a length and a half. Cruising for a living is there. Coming to the outside now, real passing lady followed by Honeybee Skip Along. Toward the inside, Pacific Philly. 
Outside is such a bad girl, then it's Magical Fortune racing up the back stretch. Out of here, Hanover by about a length. Racing up on the outside now is Real Passing Lady. Cruising for Living's got the rail. Right alongside that's Honeybee Skip Along, who tries a three wide move. Three quarters, 125 and two. As they make their way around the final turn, out of here, Hanover. Cruising for Living. Up on the far outside, Honeybee Skip Along, dropping out of it. Real Passing Lady. Inside is Pacific Philly coming through the stretch. Out of here, Hanover. Coming on the outside, cruising for a living, and cruising for a living is up to win it. Out of your Hanover, hold second over Pacific Philly. The New Zealand mare, cruising for a living, owned by Joe Mascara, paces to a 154 and one win with Jim Morand in the bike. The Jeff Clark trainee went off at odds of eight to one. Out of here, Hanover took home the money for second, and the classy Pacific Philly was there to round out the trifecta.